Hey, I wanted to do a review of the Mr. Coffee Tea Maker and Kettle. I like to drink loose tea, um, and I was using stovetop kettle and just a teapot with infuser basket. But I'd walk away from the stovetop and this would whistle and over boil and dry out and that's not good. And then when I'd make a pot of tea, when I'd go back for my second cup, it would be cold. So I was starting to look at some automated tea kettles. Um, now I'm looking for the same things that a lot of people are looking for. I was looking for an auto start function, a tea infuser basket, um, programmable temperatures for the variety of teas that I wanted to make, and I wanted little to no plastic in contact with my water. This did not check all those boxes that I just listed for you. This does not have an auto start function, unfortunately, and it doesn't have um, plastic per se in contact with the water, but see, look, underneath the lid, it's stainless steel. The basket is a nice long stainless steel basket. This lid here, although it's um, plastic on the top, it's not plastic underneath. Try to get my, uh, here we go. See, it's stainless steel underneath. And this is glass and at the bottom stainless steel, but what a lot of people have noticed about these glass kettles is that there's a silicone ring. It's not easy to detect on this video, but there's a silicone ring that joins the glass and the stainless steel hot plate at the bottom. So I don't know how to avoid that issue there. Um, I may not keep this partly because of that reason, but also because you have to babysit this when you go to make your tea, which I'm about to show you now. So I'm going to make my nighttime tea. I'm gonna set it to the temperature that I want it to um, brew to. So I'm gonna set it 205 degrees per my tea manufacturer's directions. So how this works is you choose the temperature you want it to boil to, or the temperature you want the water to come up to. Um, and it starts to work pretty quickly. You can see the bubbles forming and I can kind of hear it going. Um, I don't have a pause function on my uh, camera, so you might want to fast forward this part. Um, but before you do, I want to show you the next part. So once the water reaches the temperature that you've designated, it will beep at you, letting you know, hey, it's time to put your tea in to, stew, to um, steep it. And then once you put your basket in, you will press it, and it has some automated, um, let's see if I can focus in on here. It has some default steeping times, as you can see here. So for the temperature that I set it to, sorry, the temperature that I set it to, that's 205 degrees, the default steeping time is two minutes. However, the tea that I'm making recommends steeping four to six minutes. So there's a manual override that you can do to set your steeping time, which is right here in the directions. It says press this, the button and then one time for each minute you want it to steep. And I'll show you what that looks like once this reaches to temperature. I'm just going to get my um, you ready to go. I'm trying to get everything in frame here. I'm 
I'm using my uh, For Tea's Sake Sleep Well Tea because it's night time. And I like how fine the mesh is on this tea infuser. It really does a good job of minimizing the amount of tea leaves that can escape. Okay, so you heard it beep, and now you see the light is flashing here. That's telling me it's time to put the basket in. One thing that has annoyed me about this is if I set this up and I walk away like I'm getting busy, um, this will keep beeping and beeping. Like, I don't know what the default amount of time is. But now that I've put that in, let me get the steep time set. So I'm going to press this once. And now I'm going to set the number of minutes I want. One, two, three, four. So you just heard it beep to confirm the number of minutes I set it to steep. Now if I wanted to use the default steeping time, which was two minutes, then I would have just pressed that button once and then it would default, you know, it would just steep for two minutes time. So now after the four minutes are up, this will beep again. And then you remove your tea basket and then you can keep it warm. Sorry that I don't have a pause button on this, uh, Quarter. So, I mean, I like it because I'm able to control the temperature and I like that it helps me keep track of my steeping time. With this method, I was guessing at my temperature and I didn't really have a good reminder to let me know, you know, I guess I could have set my phone timer, but I wasn't always very good at that. Um, and then it would get cold when I went back for my second cup, so I'd have to microwave my second cup. So I wanted to eliminate this and make it like a one-step process. But this has its flaws. I teach online, and sometimes in the morning I get up, I put the water in, I just press the temperature I want, and then I go and I start teaching. And I don't come back in time when it beeps for the steeping basket. And then this thing just starts beeping and annoying my family members who don't know, you know, they don't drink tea. I'm the only tea drinker here. So they don't know exactly what this thing is beeping at them to telling them to do. Um, once this is reached four minutes, this will beep again, letting you know that it's done. And then you can press the button one more time to maintain a keep warm setting. That's my favorite function of this. This one will keep warm for 60 minutes. Some of the other teapots... Um, electric kettles on the market will only keep warm for 30 minutes. And some of them, if you remove the kettle from the base um, during the keep warm cycle and then you put it back on, it will lose, it will forget that you've had it on keep warm. I think you have to manually set it again. Um, this one, you once it's on the keep warm cycle, you can remove it and put it back and it will pick up at the keep warm function. But with that being said, that's another thing I don't like about this teapot. It doesn't have a timer, so I, do, I can't see how many minutes are left on the keep warm function. And it doesn't have a designated keep warm button. So sometimes there are times when it's taken me more than an hour to get through the pot of tea that I've made. I'm the only one drinking it, and maybe I'm sipping it leisurely. And now the hour has passed. It's this cuts off, but I want it to keep it warm some more. There's no button for me to press just to keep it warm. From what I understand, I'd have to go through that whole cycle again. I'd have to press this, it would bring it to temperature, it would beep at me thinking I need to steep tea again, 
then I'd have to press it, let the timer go by, then it would beep again telling me the steep time was done so that then I could press it to keep warm. Kind of annoying, huh? So I'm on the quest. I've seen some other stainless steel kettles um, that have minimal, you know, they're all stainless steel, but there's like a water gauge and that's the little bit of like silicone or plastic that interacts with the water. That last long beep is a little annoying, right? So now I will just press it. And now this is, the way the lights are lit is indicating that it is in keep warm mode. And I'll remove my my infuser basket and I've now steeped it at the right temperature and for the right amount of time, which is the thing I'm most pleased with. My tea is tasting better because I'm brewing it and steeping it correctly. Well, I hope you found this video informational and useful. Please type in the comments below if you have found the perfect, ideal electric kettle that checks all my boxes. <laughs> I'm going to keep looking and I'll make another video if I find one. Thanks for watching.